Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today because it's Mortgage Monday. I love Mortgage Monday. I do this once a month. I go over my mortgage and what happened in my account and what adding $550 to our mortgage payment in additional principal only payments does to my mortgage. I, I can't believe, um, what I saw last year and how things shifted. And I've got my amortization uh, schedule here from when the mortgage was brand new. And I'm going to show you the numbers and where I'm at in my savings on interest. I think I'm doing this right. It's an estimate. It's not an exact number, but it's close enough for me to go. Yeah, this keeps me motivated. So let's go ahead and dive into the numbers. Um, last year in December, I can't believe it's a new year already. My final number was this number, um, 249,285, uh, $285.41. So that is the beginning balance uh, that I'm going to start here. And I'm going to write here in the corner, grab my pen. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that number down. I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll get to that in just a second. So how was your New Year's? How was your Christmas? I hope things went really well um, and you stayed healthy and spent time with loved ones. Um, we had a low-key Christmas and New Year's. We were just at home, the four of us in our house and uh, exchanged gifts and just had a really good time. My ink does not want to work here. I'm sorry about that. Uh, 285.41. Okay, so that's the beginning balance right there. So my principal payment uh, for the mortgage out of the actual mortgage, what is required, is $313.41. I like seeing that number go up uh, because if I stayed in my mortgage exactly the way, way it is, um, let's find January of 24, I would be required only at a minimum of $279.55. And by adding this $550 every month uh, since January of last year, um, that has jumped up to $313.41. So I know the numbers are moving and I'm saving money, money I don't have to spend on this house in the future. So I'm super excited about that. We're going to add the $550, which um, is the additional principal only payment that we make. And so a total principal only or principal payment that was made to the mortgage was um, $863.41. Now I swapped interest paid and a new balance here um, from last time because I just wanted to do the math straight across and then make a note over here of what the actual interest I paid for this month. So we're going to put this number down, 863.41. And so I have a new balance here, minus 863.41. Oh, it's going to be an even number. How cool is that? So my new balance on my mortgage right now, not the payoff, but the actual balance right now is $248,422. Zero change, which is kind of cool. I like it when that happens. Um, something about even numbers just makes me happy. Uh, four, two, two, zero, zero. Now the actual interest that I paid this month was $1,244.35. So that is what we actually paid. So like I showed earlier, this is what our actual for January 2044 on the original schedule was was 279.55 for the principal payment but the interest would have been 1278.21 and I paid 1244.35 so there is movement in the numbers I, I absolutely love that but my favorite part is finding how far ahead I have pushed my mortgage now that this is my new balance I get to look down here and go okay where on this schedule am I close to this number? And so uh, it usually goes two or three years ahead, which is really cool. And I'm at, let's see, this is 248.442. So I'm in between these numbers right here, 248, and that's 329. 
29. So I'm going to count that. It's close enough for me to count that, even though it's not exactly there. Um, there's a little bit of difference. Let's see how much that is. Uh, 422 minus the, um, where's that? 329.29. So that's $92 difference. So that's close enough for me to go, okay, um, I'm going to count this. And this is January 1st of 2024. And I get to highlight these colors. I forgot to grab my highlighters. Let's see, I got one right here. So I'm going to take December of 25, January of 25. And now I'm bumped up to February of 2025 um, just by adding that additional $550 every month in my mortgage. That is a beautiful thing to see. Uh, I've almost filled up this one page. It's taken me all year to do it, but I think this is amazing. This is amazing. Um, I am always encouraged when I get to do this process, but I have more. So that is written out and that is taken care of. And I'm going to move this off to the side because now that I, last year, if you didn't see my last mortgage annual update um, where I did this uh, with the help of Amanda here, <laughs> she she said, no, that's not how you um, look at your schedule. You need to, you, got, you saved a lot more interest than that. And once I realized what she was talking about, yeah, we got it. So thank you again, Amanda. So this was like, I put Santa Claus here because it was December is Christmas. And my husband and I were like, hey, we're, this is our Christmas gift to ourselves because we don't have to pay this $29,217.46 in the future for our house. Um, it's not actual cash in our pocket, but it's at least it's not cash coming out of our pocket in the future either. So I love that. It just kind of canceled out and we're good. All right. So I took this, these numbers, and I'm just going to add on every month and have a new schedule printed. And so here's a new month. And I hope the black and white comes across better on film than the uh, blue that I did originally. So I added January right here at the bottom. And so I went from $29,217.46 estimated to, um, this should say estimated saved um, $31,701.29. How did I get to this number? So um, I totaled the principal for every payment from the very first mortgage payment I ever made because my mortgage is, you know, it's a baby. It's, it's, October 2022 is when I got this mortgage. So I know I have all these numbers and I can start from the very beginning, which I think I'm very lucky to do. I don't think most people get to do that when they start working this process. So I'm excited to see the whole, tra how it works over the next, um, you know, 15, 14, 15 years. So we're hoping to have it paid off by, uh, within 15 years. So yeah, that's going to be exciting. Um, so I have this, I know exactly how much we paid. This is where we started the 550 every month and we're continuing that. And that is going to be our mortgage payment uh, from here on out. And um, so I know the total principal paid. I know the total pr uh, interest paid. And all I did was add this one interest payment that we just made here. And then I went to my amortization schedule and looked at this and found this number here, which is the total interest uh, moved forward every month. So it's $50,799.12. Now I have to add a number because it wasn't a part of the original math of the schedule, which is this first payment that belonged to a different bank. So I added the 129833 uh, and then came up with this 529745. Uh, and so I took the interest paid minus the amortization interest that we would have had by this point um, in the schedule uh, based on where our actual balance is. And then so that means we saved $31,701.29. So the, and again, this is all estimates. This is not like hard numbers or anything like that. But it's close enough for me to go, I am rejoicing. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. I so appreciate <laughs> that he has given us the courage to do something like this. And this encourages me every month to want to continue to do this. And I uh, absolutely love this. So I really hope this encourages you. If you have a mortgage or you're planning to get a mortgage in the future, um, just know that if you can track it a little bit and make extra payments or get a 15 year loan or whatever it is that you need to do, paying off the mortgage fast is going to be best because you want to own the home. You want to have, uh, you want to own your own property. You don't want the bank to own your property for you. So I think this is uh, a great way of doing it. It's a short video and that's all I really got to say is, yeah, here's my new balance. It's a new year and I am super excited about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.